Hey guys, Vizello here. So I feel like I should mention this at the beginning of the video. I have been with Microsoft for a while. Ever since 2011, when I first picked up a 360 controller, I have been with Microsoft ever since. I've been supporting their consoles, and I know a lot of people might look down at me for that because they may have different biases, but to me, I've always been a fan of Microsoft and their products, especially the Xbox products. So keep in mind that this video is coming from a place of respect for the Xbox brand. But in this video, I wanted to talk about what Microsoft is doing with Scarlet, which is their next generation console, which is also going to be, supposedly from the rumors, Scarlet is going to be a streaming-based platform that is going to be cheaper, and it's also going to have an alternative It's going to be more expensive, that'll be actual dedicated hardware. And I want to talk about how that could succeed and what Microsoft needs to do to make sure that, that succeeds and what they are probably doing right now. However, before I get into that, please leave your thoughts on this topic in the comments. This is more of like an opinionated piece, so I'd like to hear your thoughts on this in the comments. But without further ado, let's get into this. So what is Microsoft doing? Well, this is mainly just a guessing game, but being honest, there are two things that I'm pretty sure Microsoft is 100% doing, and the Xbox team is trying to take note of. And the first thing is that they are probably re-watching the Xbox One reveal. There were a lot of flaws with that reveal, and I feel like Microsoft knows that, because the Xbox One was a generation that I feel like there was a lot of missteps, and, you know, practice does make perfect, and you have to make mistakes in order to be perfect. But being honest, if Microsoft has to watch the reveal of the Xbox One and take notes just to make sure that they know what they're doing, because... First impressions mean everything, and if Microsoft does not have a good first impression of Scarlet, then the chances of Scarlet even having a fighting chance go way down, and we know this because of the launch of the Xbox One. This is exactly what happened, because when the Xbox One was launched, there were so many issues and so many problems people were not happy with. And that stuck with a lot of people for the remainder of the generation, and it's probably going to stick with them well into the next generation. Another thing that I feel like Microsoft is doing, which is very important, is optimizing the servers for Scarlet. So, if Scarlet is going to be a streaming platform, which um, it's pretty much going to be, at this point, the rumors, hearing so much rumors, I'm almost, confirmed, almost confirming this, that we are going to see the next generation Xbox be dedicated hardware, a more expensive option of course, and Scarlet, which will be a, of course, more of a streaming platform and it should be cheaper. That could be what Microsoft is doing, and if they are doing that, the streaming platform, which is codenamed Scarlet, has to be optimized. Even if you have okay internet connection, if you get Scarlet and the ping is like in the thousands, then it's unplayable because you need to have a good connection in order for this to even have any chance against dedicated hardware. And that's the biggest problem that I feel like Microsoft needs to iron out and I'm almost positive that they are ironing that out because it's so obvious and I'm sure Microsoft knows that. After other failures in, especially in other failures in the streaming markets, Microsoft knows that they do need to try and optimize it to as much as it can be optimized. But besides that, there's not really much else to go off of what Microsoft or the Xbox team is probably doing. We do know that there could be leaks in the future, but we don't know exactly what's going on behind the scenes. So I want to get into for the remainder of this video what Microsoft should do. So, these are things that I feel like Microsoft needs to do to make sure that Scarlet is going to be a hit. And not just a hit, but even something that could be profitable towards them. And the first thing that I know Microsoft needs to do is to be competitive with pricing. Because if you're not competitive with pricing on a platform that is streaming based, then you're going to have problems. Because streaming based, no matter what you say, is always going to be inferior to dedicated hardware when it comes to actual latency and all that because in dedicated hardware you don't have that issue at, le at least when you're not playing online because it runs on the native hardware when it's streaming it's not doing that it's running off the server so i feel like microsoft would have to make sure that the pricing would have to be low because if it's the same price of like the dedicated hardware Xbox option, which I'm pretty sure Microsoft is going to do because going full in on streaming now is not a great idea, that would definitely, that would hurt. That would hurt the Xbox Scarlet a lot. 
I mean, what would you rather do? Pick up a PlayStation 5 with dedicated hardware and a similar game lineup to the Xbox One, or not the Xbox One, the next generation Xbox Scarlet. And they're both the same price, but the Scarlet has, it's the Scarlet uses actual streaming and the PS5 is dedicated hardware. What would you use? Or maybe let's say, the, you, you know, you have a Scarlet or you have the other Xbox next generation option that is going to be dedicated hardware and they're both the same price. What would you go with? Anyone would probably choose the dedicated hardware option. So Microsoft would have to have the pricing be way less than the dedicated hardware option to entice people to pick it up. Like I'm thinking most realistically around 250, 200, 250, maybe pushing it would be 300, but I think 250 is a pretty safe bet. Maybe I think going over that would just be too much. I think going lower than that would be great, but 250 seems the most realistic. The biggest thing though that Microsoft would have to do would be to make sure that the platform is optimized. I know that I already said that that's probably what Microsoft is doing, but if it's not optimized, you're going to have a lot of problems, especially out of the gate. I know that Microsoft can patch their servers, make them better, but being honest, you have to make sure that the servers are reliable, and you have to make sure that the servers can be used right. Like, let's say that the servers, even with an okay internet connection, are keeping ping around 50. That that would be pretty ideal. But let's also say that this the servers don't crash all the time. Well, then you can't use it because if the servers are not reliable, then you wouldn't be able to use it all the time, which would be, would be a huge, huge blow to Scarlet. So the servers would have to be as optimized as possible. And the console would also have to be optimized too to make sure that it can it has the best connection to your Wi-Fi and maybe even Ethernet by including Ethernet of course that would be I that would be definitely that's definitely happening. But making sure that all of the options that you have to that you need to make sure that you have the best internet connection are there. And also the the stuff on Microsoft end, such as the servers and optimizing the console to make sure that it works, that has to be done. And finally, at least in my opinion, the thing that Microsoft needs to do is to have a good first party lineup and not just first party, also third party. And especially for launch. For launch, it is so important because first impressions mean everything. And we know that from the launch of the PS3. We know that from the launch of the Xbox One. So what could Microsoft do for the first party lineup? Well, think about this. If Microsoft had an amazing first party lineup for launch, that would entice a lot of people. Even people who hadn't been with Xbox for a while may be interested in picking that up. But even with third party, it could also be enticing. Let's say PS5 has a game that is so amazing and it's third party, so it's going to be on both consoles. And it's a, an amazing game, everyone wants it, but PS5 launches at 400. Well, let's say Scarlet launched at 250. Which one would you rather pick up? The one, let's just say that Scarlet is, of course, properly optimized. Would you pick up the one that's like 150 bucks cheaper, that can play the exact same game, or would you pay 150 bucks more for the PlayStation brand? Of course, some people may choose PlayStation, but realistically, it would make sense for most people to choose Scarlet, of course, if the internet is properly, the internet connection is, and the servers are properly optimized. If it's not, though, that I would understand why people would go for a more expensive option. But think about it. Like, you could get a way cheaper entry ticket to that game because Scarlet is cheaper. So having an amazing third-party and first-party lineup, even if it is cross-plat- even cross-platform, even if it is compatible with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, or Xbox One, the next-generation Xbox, Xbox Scarlet, most people would choose Scarlet because it's a cheaper entry ticket. But of course, those are just my opinions on what I want to see out of the next Xbox. And if someone from Xbox is somehow watching this, I would appreciate it if you guys added all of those stuff into the next Xbox. Because that stuff is going to make sure that we have a very ideal experience. And I just dropped something too. But besides that, I hope you did enjoy this video. Please leave your thoughts on this topic in the comments. And again, I hope you did enjoy this video. And see you.